Well, you have word uh, once again. Thank you for the email, you know, for taking the time to talk to me today. Um, at first, uh, I'd like to ask you if you can tell us a little bit more uh, about Fit Drive, what Fit Drive is. No problem. Um, so at Fit Drive, our mission is to provide fitness professionals with the best tools possible to launch, manage, and scale their businesses uh, so they can reach more people, change more lives, and live their passions sustainably. Uh, we do that through a mobile app that makes it easy for them uh, to manage their in-person or remote clients. So trainers can create workouts, edit and upload exercise videos, and share routines to their clients through text message, all from their mobile device. And then their client also has their own app where they can perform routines, track their progress, and share feedback with their trainer. And, uh, you know, when you come to fitness, uh, and I know it's a growing section, uh, we heard it we, we have been talking about Peloton, uh, Apple Watch is that very famous. And I'm just wanting to know why Fit Drive decided to focus on personal trainers instead of like a regular consumer athletes. Definitely. Um, so the fitness market is really interesting because it's definitely a large growing market that has seen a lot of innovation recently. So as you mentioned, there's Peloton for in-home exercises. Uh, ClassPass was recently valued at yeah. over a billion uh, with their like booking platform for studio classes. Um, but the interesting thing to know is while there's a lot of these uh, products and services on the consumer side, there's actually very little options out there right now for trainers specifically. Um, so we've actually found that most trainers in terms of using tools to run their business are still using a combination of Excel spreadsheets or notes or pen and paper to do that, um, which limits their ability to be professional, to provide a good experience to their clients, uh, and keep them retained. And so we really focused on providing the easiest, fastest way uh, to provide a professional experience as a personal trainer. When it comes to personal trainer, are you targeting like uh, uh, trainers that are already part of or so uh, that are already working for, let's say for a fitness club, or are you talking about like an independent personal trainer? Which one you are targeting the most? Yeah, so it's a mix. The way that we brand ourselves is supporting uh, fitness businesses. So whether you're an independent personal trainer who's extremely passionate about fitness and wants to create the business around their passion, you can run your business through this app, do all of your client interactions and keep your information centralized. Whereas if you're um, a personal training studio, a studio that offers a personal training service, then you can still have your trainers use the app and then uh, keep track of all the clients who attend that gym's information. So for example, if uh, a client comes in, but one personal trainer that they typically work with isn't available that day, uh, you're able to still maintain that source of information. So another trainer can come in and still continue moving that person towards their individual goals. All right, uh, now, I know recently, like uh, during the COVID situation, you have, uh, well, you're, we have made a webinar to our personal trainers uh, start with business on the line. And uh, so my question to you now is uh, how a personal trainer can start the business on the line in the, in, in the current time? Yeah, definitely. Um, so one thing that I, I really want to make clear is how important personal trainers are to the fitness ecosystem. And that relates to the other question before around um, why focus on the trainer instead of focusing on the consumer? And the reason why is there's all of these fitness apps out there right now. There's YouTube, there's Instagram, there's tons of different sources of information, um, but it's proven that the best way to actually get real results is to work with a personal trainer who understands you, who understands your goals, um, and who can really tailor the program to fit your specific needs. And that's why they're so crucial to uh, both like the fitness industry, but the economy as a whole in terms of keeping people healthy, um, especially during this time where there's a lot of anxiety, um, there's a lot of stress that people are facing. That connection with the personal trainer uh, goes so far in terms of maintaining mental health as well as physical health. So I just wanted to make that point. And then speaking to personal trainers directly, uh, there are many different ways that you can start uh, an online fitness business. But again, the best way is to uh, provide a service 
to your uh, existing personal training clients that you were seeing in person, but now move them onto a platform like FitDrive where you can interact with them remotely. So that means that let's say you have your programs that you're delivering on a weekly or monthly basis, you upload them to the app, you send them over to your, uh, to your client, and then they can either do them on their own and keep track of their progress there and then have essentially a weekly Zoom call with them just to review their progress for the week to check in and see how they're doing and then update the program. Mm -hmm. Or you can use the Zoom platform itself to uh, host live workouts, so live personal training sessions where you have your two-way feedback and you can see them in correct form. But if you're a trainer, you want to price those things differently because yeah. If you're doing a live session, that should be priced similar to uh, an hourly rate that you would charge for personal training. Whereas if you're doing the remote training, that's typically charged as a subscription basis. So it just gives you options as a personal trainer. Um, my next question, do you think uh, the person can uh, decide that they, uh, can uh, decide that in the app or say for group, they can charge someone by hourly or subscription based in your app? Can someone do that so, with the Right. So right now in the app, it's just a platform for managing all of the client's information, for creating the workouts, for uploading exercise videos, for keeping track of all of that. In the future, we'll be adding the payment processing functionality. But right now, that just takes place individually uh, by the personal trainer. So you can use PayPal, you can use Stripe, you can use e-transfer. Um, but that's just uh, a conversation that happens between the personal trainer and their client. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you very much. And um, my last question for you right before before I go, is that uh, what what are the next plans for Fit Drive uh, in the near future? Yeah. Um. So it's it's really exciting for what we're doing. Um. Right now, really just trying to support the fitness industry as much as we can during this time. So, uh, for any trainer right now who wants to move their business online, we've made it so that the first three clients that you add to the platform for the next sixty days are completely free, uh, zero cost, no credit card, nothing. You just get on, add your clients, and get started. Um. We also, as you mentioned, created a full guide that walks through the entire process of training someone uh, remotely or online. So feel free to get access to that on our website, um, as well as we launched a private Facebook group uh, where we can provide more tailored support um, to the trainers that are, are looking to move. And that's actually grown to uh, about 150 members in the last three weeks. Um, uh -huh. So we're just continuing to push that. Uh, to put out content uh, in terms of blog posts, in terms of webinars, which we host inside our Facebook group on how people can move forward. So on the, uh, on the support side, that's really what we're doing in terms of helping support the community. And then definitely we'll be making uh, a few changes to our product going forward to help support uh, the current time. So the payment processing that you mentioned is something that we're really thinking about and how to, how to effectively do that um optimizing the way to receive feedback um is another thing but really just listening to uh the comments and the needs of our consumers and iterating as quickly as possible to to give them the best product that they can use to run their fitness business online all right perfect awesome uh, edward thank you for uh for answering my question today thank you again for taking the time and um, I'm wishing you guys all success with Fit Drive, and and and, and I know like uh, in the in the future is going to be like uh, a go-to product for anybody in uh, in personal training. So I, and once again, I would like to say thank you and talk to you soon. Thank you, and again for any trainer who's interested in any of the services that I mentioned, uh, feel free to go over to our website. That's myfitdrive.com. Uh, also follow us on Instagram, my fit drive. We've been putting out a ton of content there. And then the Facebook group that I mentioned, if you just search up fit drive community, move your fitness business online on Facebook, or go to the community tab on our website, uh, all those resources will be available. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right.